morning. Oh, you guys, it's so early. Just before we came out here, the urn of backstage coffee arrived, but not in enough time for us to actually get any coffee out of it. This is our form of it's our penance. Yeah, we're being punished. The Life first was. several answers will be very slow. <laughs> Life is the coffee that you see but can't have. You can't look at the menu, but you just can't eat. Oh yeah, Howard Jones for all the kids out there. <laughs> I like what well, I like, 1984. Paul. Uh, hey everybody, so anything interesting happened to you in the last two, three weeks? <laughs> this was just another everyday cruise, like any other cruise we've ever done. This is one of the best years to be in the cruise business. Least stressful time to be running a travel event <laughs> for a large group of people. Um, I would like to slather this entire Q&A with a whole bunch of caveat sauce. <laughs> I'd also like to just slather it with yeah. hand sanitizer. <laughs> you know, so, how many, before you go to the caveats, how many pallets did we have this year? Uh, 16 arcade cabinets, 13 loaded early, 28 loaded March 7, and then uh, all the cases in the so ballpark number of total pallets. You're asking me to add three numbers together. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> so like the 16 plus the same amount less. 16 plus 13 plus 28. So like 87 pallets, right? Yeah, about yeah, about 200. Half. What my point is, half of those pallets were just 55 gallon drums of caveat sauce. <laughs> and in fact, that's the nature of this caveat. That who knows. Uh, given the way this week and the world is right now, that number of drums may turn out to have been 1,000 drums or zero all the time. So we will, we will, uh, whatever, whatever you ask us, uh, depending on the subject, uh, we will answer to the best of our ability. But there are things uh, outside of our purview that we do not know. Not that there are any particular concerns any of you have <laughs> regarding, say, world events. Or caveat sauce. Or caveat sauce. Yes, yeah, yeah, we'll be publishing the recipe for caveat sauce in tomorrow's when and where. Starts with avocados. <laughs> the, the recipe for caveat sauce is just, I could tell you, but that may well change. <laughs> Starts with onions. Uh, I so, so we're here to uh, ace some cues. So go ahead and shoot your hand up. Uh, we have the microphone. The first oh. one we saw over. Or who's whoever, whoever is closest to the mic right now? Uh, okay. Did you have to fight to keep the cruise on, or were you just following the news with your fingers crossed? <laughs> we did not have to fight. Uh, we were kept apprised by our industry folks in Holland America very closely. Of course, the information was often drug. <laughs> and so we're going off the best information we have, but absolutely uh, and, uh, Probably unsurprisingly, the cruise industry and the travel industry in general were very interested in keeping the cruise going. Obviously not you know, at the risk of anyone's health or at undue risk. Um, but yeah, it was, it was never a battle. We didn't have to, we weren't screaming into a into a, a conference con line. You must let us cruise! Yeah, and nor, nor would we have. I mean, honestly, you know, our our our, our strategy, where we where we ended up on this is like, you know, we kind of trust that the cruise line uh, has the best interests of uh, the health and safety of their passengers in mind because they don't they they don't want to do anything uh, stupid. <laughs> in fact and they and they you know they, they have this is not their first rodeo. They've dealt with this sort of thing in the past, and so we couldn't think of a better expert to do. And, and you know, if they were like, we don't think we should cruise, we would be crazy to say, we think we should, because we don't really know what we're talking about. In fact, um, we were the ones who went to them and said, is this safe? And they were able to tell us a, a lot of things, some of which we could not share, um, that because they couldn't, they couldn't say it um, and sign their name to it, but just based on their practices that persuaded us we could. And beyond that, the statements that we made, we made uh, the emails we sent out, we sent them out 
once we could confirm all that information was absolutely true and got them out as soon as we could because we did want everybody to have the information as soon as they could. It's, all, it's almost comical. I'm sure if there were like a, a documentary crew filming, there would be lots of shots of uh, the four of us gathered around the laptop all all sort of furiously uh, composing these emails together because we want to make sure they're accurate, but it's just sort of that metaphorical all gathered over the terminal and like at the end of some sort of thriller. Um, uh, and, and to what Storm was saying, uh, not disingenuously, uh, a large part of the reason this cruise came off the way it did going through these situations was uh, due to the help of uh, Diana Bloss and Worldwide Travel, which are our travel agent, for lack of a better word, our, our, our liaison with Holland America, and also Holland America's main liaison with us, uh, Jan Gasson, is, do I have his last name? Yeah. Uh, Jan Gasson, who's also on the cruise with us this week. Uh, the two of them were incredibly helpful <laughs> at distilling and getting information for us as, as we needed it. So. And they are partners to us, as is Hall of America. Like this is something where we, everyone has the same interests. So it's been terrific up and down in the line with communication, which we've been able to pass on to you. And, and I also want to say another way, another reason that this was possible, we were able to be hunched over a computer together is because of the fabulous um, team, uh, year-round staff that we have, and also the team that we brought on board. And to be able to rely on Anna and Stephanie and Tara um, and Danielle, the Lady Killer, and so many other people, and to know that the preparations that we made um, and that, that they had the crews in hand and that we could we could hunch over the computer for four hours a day um, or six or eight. Yeah, yeah, okay. you know, just, yeah, just an easy an easy twelve. Yeah, um, we couldn't have done it without. Them.